morning, good evening, good afternoon, good whatever it is, wherever you are. I don't know why I keep doing this. I'm currently driving down the Yellowhead Highway from Prince Rupert, I'm trying to make it to Terrace, BC, which is about an hour. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. It's literally uh, an hour and a half drive. It's like 120 kilometers. Uh, I left an hour and a half ago. It's okay for driving if you're the only one on the road. No problem. You can you can make it work. But because you don't know where the lanes like split for in oncoming traffic, um, you'll have some of these freaking semis. Um, have you seen Final Destination? Yeah. So you have these big semis coming at you, um, and they're like in the middle of the road, and they just push you right off. Which is, sure, I'll give you the space, but then what really sucks is they have all this snow that, that's coming up behind them that was just like lifted up. So then what you get is like, I don't even know, like negative visibility. Like you can't even see, like past, like you can't see past your windshield. Like it's game over. So then you don't know if another one's coming. You don't know if you're in the road. If you're even like, you don't know if there's a curb coming. You don't know anything. So that being said, I had a feeling I was gonna get thrown in the thick of it when I made this whole plan, you know? Like, I knew that I was going from the Okanagan down into elevation into the lower mainland into onto Vancouver Island. I knew I was gonna not deal with snow. And then I had a feeling that when I head up here, I'm gonna get thrown right into this. I think what I didn't anticipate is the white knuckle driving that this would bring up. Like, this is, this is nuts. An hour and 42 minutes into my drive this morning and uh, I've almost been in a head, head on collision with a fucking semi. Um, I am white knuckling this mofo the whole time. I'm trying to stay calm, um, but it is, it is a dicey, dicey, dicey morning. Hello! I am in a new outfit, but it's the same day, so that's fun. I got a chance to do laundry in Terrace, BC, and then I saw that it was really warm outside and like good weather and the roadway looked pretty decent. So I said, fuck it. Let's go for it. Let's try and make a dent in the second most remote highway in Canada. I am currently on the Stewart Cassier Highway that meets up with eventually the Alaskan Highway. The Alaskan Highway, if you guys don't know, starts in Dawson Creek, just like the TV show. Not, it's not just like um, a, a fluctuation in between tarmac, black ice, white ice, and um, snow. It's also incredibly, incredibly uneven. All of that snow just gets unevenly packed, right? So it's, it's, it's not fun, but we totally pulled an audible. Last minute I had lunch. I kind of just made the decision and I asked some folks on Instagram, you know, kind of what I should do. And majority of folks said to just go for the sketchy route. Well. This is the sketchy route. We are now on it. I can feel it in my chest. My drive this morning was 
fucking way worse than this. I pumped up um, before I left Terrace, um, and then I filled up my jerry can. The junction, whether you go straight towards Prince George or whether you go north towards the Yukon, there's a gas station there. I know that tomorrow is gonna be kind of an okay day to drive again, but then for the next four days or so in a row, um, it's probably gonna be a no-go. And the reason why is because there's gonna be a bunch of snow that's uh, gonna accumulate. And so, yeah, we're, uh, we're gonna take advantage of this, uh, of this beautiful weather. Um, now I am on the highway that I wasn't planning on being on today. We are pushing forwards. Uh, weather looks good. The stoke is high. The music has been blaring. Um, I got a bunch of groceries before I left Paris. I wasn't even thinking about that, but nevertheless, we have food for about five or six days. So I would say we are prepared. I hope the North is prepared for me.
after, oh boy, I don't even know how long it's been. We are in Watson Lake, more or less. Um, actually, no, Watson Lake is like 20 kilometers east, and we gotta go west, because we are going to Whitehorse. Not today, I think that's gonna be tomorrow's problem. This has been a freaking drive. Um, Woo! And over, but it has been incredible. Um, it's been exhausting. I started driving at seven. I stopped for lunch and a couple of drone flights, and that's about it. But I think I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna get fuel in Watson. I should have just done that from the beginning. I remember last time driving up here and uh, Nugget City was closed then too, but we are, this is not very safe. You get what you get. There was next to no roadway at some points. Um, it was a it's single lane, either direction, but there were sections where it just became one lane. We made it out alive. I'm actually incredibly impressed at a couple of things. First off, this van is real wheel drive. So the fact that you know, I'm driving in some of these remote places in the winter on ice, on snow, on um, whatever. It's it's holding up. Now, the reason why it's it's holding its own, two factors. First, um, there's a good amount of weight. I made sure to have a full water tank before I got onto uh, the ferry. Uh, and then the second factor is that um, I'm running on Hakapolita's C3's studded winter tires. These are Nokian studded winter tires. They're probably um, one of my favorite tires ever created uh, for the winter. Uh, incredibly grippy. And these ones are studded just for that little bit of extra factor. They are absolutely awful in warm conditions. Unless I'm on ice, these tires suck. But over the last 750, 800 kilometers, these tires were worth their money. I kid you not, it is what, this is what's kept me on the road. Not once did I get traction control, control turning on. I, there was even scenarios climbing up some crazy 10% grades and um, all that weight over the rear wheels and these tires just did a phenomenal, phenomenal job. So I'm very, very pleased with how that played out. I'm gonna leave it at this. I'm gonna go get some fuel. Folks.
Good morning, you beautiful people. I am in the Yukon, uh, driving through a fucking blizzard because that's the way the cookie crumbles today. Um, and I need to drive <clears throat> because, well, I need to make some progress. I need to make some distance. Um, it's been snowing since this morning. It's around 11 o'clock a.m. right now. Um, but I had a meeting this morning and so I had to kind of stay behind and have that in the at the rest stop here on the Alaskan Highway somewhere between uh, Rancheria and Upper Leard. I had my meeting, I uh, had a coffee, uh, dusted off my, my van. We are now on the road. I'm charging my drone batteries and whatnot. Anywho, just a little update. Um, treacherous driving conditions. Yeah, so wish, wish me luck. Thank you.